Once again, welcome back to the program. Everybody wants to be successful in life, but in today's life, what we are finding out is we are being distracted by the various distractions. How to set clear boundaries in one's life? We'll talk about this particular issue with Kelly Mongazeb, who is a master facilitator with Virtues Project. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Harpreet. Thank you. So I want to be successful. You want to be successful. Everybody wants to be successful. Mm -hmm. What does success mean in life today? Because today success is being defined uh, many a times by merely your monetary uh, success or your financial uh, mm -hmm. bank accounts. And this is what we consider to be success. What right. actually is success? Well, I, I think um, there's many elements of success. But when you have a sense of peace mm -hmm. in your mind, and contentment in your heart mm -hmm. that you're satisfied with what you've done up to this point in your life or if mistakes have been made that you've been able to clear those and and make amends for them and 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 feel feel peaceful with yourself right. i i think i think most people want that mm -hmm. and i think a lot of the pain inner pain people experience or when they don't feel successful it's it's because of this this inner turmoil that's maybe going on inside. Right. So that's the theoretical uh, version of what you have said, and I know it. Everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. But once we find that there's a race going on, and everybody is trying to go ahead of the other person, mm -hmm. and the various distractions which are there, mm -hmm. they uh, lead you also. So how to be strong enough? And first of all, let's talk about the distractions. Mm -hmm. What kind of distractions are there? And also, how to you know distract from those distractions <laughs> to focus only on your basic purpose of life? Yeah, well, that's that's a really big subject, and, mm -hmm. and you know we could come at it from many different angles, I think. But um, basically, anything that becomes that we step out of moderation with, mm -hmm. you know, um, there are many distractions, <laughs> and there are many ways that take up our time. Right. Because really, um, time is the quality, or the the time is the. The, the thing that we need mm -hmm. to be successful. We right. need to use our time productively to move us towards those goals and aspirations that we might have. Mm -hmm. And if we are allowing distractions of whatever they might be, whether it's television, whether it's, uh, you know, um, I don't know, just being on the internet, doing things that are frivolous or don't really bring any fruit, they don't mm -hmm. bear any fruit. You know, there's many, many, many distractions for us. Basically, in enhance way. the quality of your life or the quality of your thinking. No, but what what I'm saying right now is the the distractions that exist right. are are those things that fill up our time. Okay. But they don't take us anywhere. They don't. Right. They don't give us. They don't bear fruit. Mm -hmm. They don't do any really any any good right. for us. So so I think the issue of boundaries is, you know, developing that capacity to to manage our time in such a way that we are moving consistently towards those goals mm -hmm. that we want in our lives. Okay. Um, having said that, boundaries can be very difficult for us to set. Right. Um, because uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a complex, um, uh, you know, people are very complex. Mm -hmm. You know, we, ha we have many layers of psychology and, and history that, that then you know, our choices are made out of that. Right. So um, the healthier we are, mm -hmm. the better we can set healthy boundaries. Right. Healthy boundaries for our time, mm -hmm. what we eat, right. who we spend our time with, um, you know, the choices that we make, um, you know, when it comes down to, you know, whether to tell the truth or not tell the truth. That's a boundary. In, in It's a spiritual boundary. Right. You know, but in terms of what you say yes to and what you say no to, mm -hmm. that's really what a boundary is in very simple terms. Right. What are you saying yes to? What are you saying no to? Mm -hmm. So it's a boundary. A healthy boundary is intended to keep the bad stuff out mm -hmm. and allow the good stuff in. Okay. So, um, but my experience uh, personally, and also with many people that I work with, that mm -hmm. sometimes it's not so easy to set those boundaries, and we need to work at developing healthier boundaries. Right, and that's what life is all about: learning and discerning, and yes. then going forward. Yes. So, also, you talked about uh, thoughts. You know, healthy uh, thoughts mm -hmm. are an uh, important mm -hmm. factor of one's mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. and thoughts are the ones which take you to bad choices or right mm -hmm. choices. Mm -hmm. 
So how to inculcate those positive thoughts and have that positive attitude mm -hmm. towards things which can lead you to positivity only? Mm -hmm. Well, this relates back to what we spoke about previously is mm -hmm. about what's around us. Right. <coughs> because our thoughts are influenced by what we take in. So our ears, yeah. our eyes, our environment, mm -hmm. right? So again, it's a boundary to decide what, d what are we watching and, and spending our time. You know, visual images are very, very powerful. Right. And uh, with the internet and the media and everything, we have to be very careful mm -hmm. about what we're ingesting, you know, because we are ingesting it. It's a diet, right. so to speak, you know, mm -hmm. and we can make ourselves sick spiritually depending on what we're watching and then that impacts our thoughts. So first of all is to be mindful and to set those boundaries around what we're taking in. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know, there, there is the reality that sometimes thoughts come into our minds unwelcome, uninvited. We just can't control that. Right. that that's the reality of our mind, mm -hmm. is that we have these <coughs> thoughts that come in and we say, where did that come from, you know? And so not to blame ourselves for that, but to understand that that can happen. Mm -hmm. And we need to then just shift our thinking. Then we need to take control and shift our mind, focus our attention on something else mm -hmm. that might be more uplifting, positive, you know, healthy. Right. But to, to be aware that we are very much impacted mm -hmm. by our surroundings and our environment, um, we will be impacted by what we're ingesting and we also will have unwelcome thoughts right. that that come they just show up you know and 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 then we have a choice to to redirect our thinking right so it's a the, what you're talking about is very important that uh, you ought to have some boundaries which you need to set up but yeah. when you talk about boundaries again mm -hmm. uh, how to think about those lines to set up those boundaries yeah. That's what the question is, yeah. especially when we talk with our kids. Yeah. Uh, there need to be boundaries, we know. But mm -hmm. many a times those boundaries are forgotten because we ourselves forget about it yeah. and we are not practicing those. Right. So what we are showing to our children, that's what they are emulating from us. Yes. So how to develop that kind of uh, relationship, especially for, for the children? So we would like to start uh, with the children. What do you feel about it? Mm -hmm. How to set boundaries for them and make them understand then boundaries, if you set them, they'll be uh, helpful to you in your future life. Mm -hmm. Well, again, f I'll speak of my own um, experience. You know, I learned through, I mean, boundaries is, is being taught in parenting programs across the board. Right. Because we, we recognize that children need to know where, where the limit is. Okay. And they will push and push and push until they find the limit. Mm -hmm. So as parents, we, we need to, you know, we went from maybe being too controlling and authoritative to now swinging to being too permissive and right. not having en enough boundaries. Mm -hmm. So collectively, I think, as parents, we need to find that middle ground. And there are very good programs and books and all sorts of things out there mm -hmm. to help us be parents that have the assertiveness have the know that that's our responsibility to right. help our kids mm -hmm. set boundaries for themselves and uh, we're going to do it imperfectly you know yeah. no, none of none of, no parent is perfect and Absolutely. we all kind of struggle along, when you talk about you know? assertiveness you know many yeah. a times that assertiveness uh, that w that also gets bent yes because uh, what you have said for example, if you have set up some time for the children for television yes. or for playing or for anything else, yes. many times it gets uh, sidetracked yes. and it's difficult to follow that also. But at least it leaves a kind of a discipline in the mind of the child that yes. uh, he or she knows that, yes, there is some limit on which we have to follow. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and consistency is a really important thing. And I think right. we all, I mean, some people struggle with it more than others. Some people seem to be able to be more consistent than others, mm -hmm. but it is a really important factor that our children be, learn to trust that when we say that's it, that's enough, this is the limit, mm -hmm. that we mean it. You know, if we say it, but then don't follow it, then they, they think, well, where is the limit? And it, does, it doesn't really mean what she's saying or he's saying, right. you know? So, so yeah, I think we need to really you know understand that we don't do our children any favors by just allowing kind of a free free flow right. you know um, but then on the other hand Harpreet we mm -hmm. do a, a disservice and we damage our children when we put too many boundaries and, and barriers boundaries. Right. And, and we're too punitive 
Mm-hmm. That is also very damaging to a child's conscience. So how to have that uh, middle approach? It's a middle approach. We'll talk about this after this small break. Thank you. Once again, welcome back to the program. Many a times you talk about setting boundaries, especially for our children. But what kind of boundaries need to be set up for the children and how that middle approach is to be talked about? Before the break, we were talking about this. Let's learn more from Kelly Mongazil. Yeah, so what kind of approach needs to be adopted? Mm-hmm. Well, um, in my parenting classes that I, that I teach around the Virtues Project, it's recommended that parents think about what are the main issues that our family needs to set some boundaries around? What Mm -hmm. are the main ground rules that are gonna help our home to have moderation in things, peaceful, Mm -hmm. you know? um, So for example, if a child is, um, if the children are younger, you might have a boundary around orderliness. So when people come into the home, they have to put their things in a certain place or Mm -hmm. they pick up after themselves. That is a boundary. That is a ground rule, but it's also a boundary. Right. So that could be one. Mm Um, another one is a time limit on computer time. So, so that's another boundary. Right. So to think about what are the, thinking about my children and the ages and stages that they are, what are the most important boundaries or virtues that I want to, you know, focus on mm-hmm. for the time? No more than about five at right. any one time. Make them visible, okay. write them up, mm-hmm. make it really clear. And they know that if they, cross over this, there's going to be a consequence that fits. Mm -hmm. So if they don't get off the computer, you know, after their five minute warning, if it's not shut off, then they don't get computer the next day, computer time, Mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's not a, it's, you know, it's a consequence that fits the issue. So it's just so that they know there's going to be a consequence if, if they don't follow that boundary. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, yeah, it takes some thought, it takes some reflection, Mm -hmm. it takes some, um, focusing in on, on, um, you know, what are the issues for our home, um, and just setting up those, those clear expectations. Curfew time Mm -hmm. for older, older kids is our boundaries and, um, you know, family, family rules, basically. Mm -hmm. But the consistency is is the key. That's the most important thing, right. So when you talk about uh, family rules, what you're Mm -hmm. talking about, this you talked about the young children. Mm -hmm. What about like you were saying about the children in the age group of uh, 11, 12 onwards and teenagers? Because again, uh, a time comes when they know more than the parents know and they claim uh, we know more than you. And this is a major crisis, especially with many parents who uh, find it hard that Mm -hmm. as the children are growing, they go out of their control and they want to live their own life. Mm-hmm. So that creates a crisis in the home also. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. at that particular time, again, the restrictions, what you were talking, if they have not enforced those when the mm-hmm. child needed to be enforced with, yeah. is there some uh, hope that at that time also something can be done? Well, it's, it, it is very difficult as mm-hmm. the kids get older. Um, if those rules haven't been imposed, if, they don't, if you don't have that relationship of um, the child adhering to what you've, you've asked. Right. Um, you know, children are like a green branch, you know, when they're young, the boughs can kind of be molded Molded, and shaped, you know, but Mm -hmm. as they get older, those branches become more solid, stiff, (laughs) Stiff, you know? (laughs) Right. So, um, yeah, our, the younger Uh formative years are very important. And then also the age group that you mentioned between eight and 11 Mm -hmm. is very, very crucial. Actually eight and 14, Mm -hmm. you could even say, but <clears throat> it's that tween stage right. and studies show that children really want and need guidance and direction from their parents right. during that age. Mm-hmm. So, so really for parents who have kids be- under 14, you know, in that age group to really, again, don't underestimate the, the um, authority that you have in your child's life right. in service of their learning, mm-hmm. in service of their moral development right. and to take those opportunities to to have those discussions and dialogue and, and express your your wishes for them and, and, and set those boundaries. Um, once they get, you know, I have a 16 year old son mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I'm experiencing those same things, how to navigate the independence that they want and still maintain, you know, my parental authority. Right. So, um, you know, I look to parents who've gone through this before me <laughs> to, right. for their advice, right. you know, but, um, 
you know, I do know that um, younger children, they, they, they are very moldable and we need to develop that respectful relationship. Right. And then again, as you said, you know, the parents themselves as have to set boundaries for yes. themselves also. Because yes. again, what the children are going to learn is through what you are doing. That's right. And many a times we face uh, that uh, the parents themselves are not having any boundaries and mm -hmm. uh, that they won't expect the children to follow some guidelines. That won't happen. Mm -hmm. It has to be vice versa. Otherwise, uh, things cannot uh, go in the right direction. Yeah. So yeah. coming back to the issue, what we are talking, we are talking about the children now, the elders. Yeah. For them, when you talk about boundaries, mm. it's very difficult today and especially with what we have been I'm sorry bombarded with the, uh, what is happening all around us mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's very difficult to set boundaries for yourself also mm -hmm. you get hits to you're sitting on before the television you keep on watching it you are eating yeah. you keep on eating mm -hmm. and that's why health crisis moral crisis yeah. your financial crisis yep. and all crises and true. crisis so over there what would be your advice with your experience as to how to start with setting boundaries for yourself also yeah, so yeah, this is the conversation we started that boundaries are a complex issue mm -hmm. because, for example, if we are um, in the grips of any kind of addiction, mm -hmm. any kind of addiction, and addiction, we've talked about this before, usually flares up or becomes an issue when we're trying to avoid feeling. Right. There's something painful in our life mm -hmm. and we don't want to feel it or think about it I mean, we want to avoid pain that's part of who we are we tend right. to avoid pain mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know addictions serve us in that they are a huge distraction they they numb us out they they make us not think or feel right and so <clears throat> if someone is in the grip of any kind of it could be a food mm -hmm. addiction could be tv watching could be smoking could be alcohol anything right could be sex mm -hmm. um that it 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 almost impedes or um it's more than that it it um it makes it almost impossible for us to set healthy boundaries mm -hmm. so sometimes there's a healing process that needs to take place where people need to say, you know, I my life is not lined up the way I need it to be and I'm going to go get help. Right. I'm going to go get some support for this because mm -hmm. if, if um, <clears throat> there's those kinds of issues taking place, it's very, very difficult for mm -hmm. a person to be setting boundaries for themselves and then therefore their children or, you know, the people around them right. in their relationships. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a really, really big issue, Harpreet, right. because it, it is about our health. Mm -hmm. It's about our, our physical health, our, our material financial health. Mm -hmm. It's about, it's about our moral health when it comes to sexuality. Mm -hmm. And it's about, um, you know, success in general. Right. And so we do need to learn how to stand in that place that it's okay for me to set a boundary right. it's okay for me to say no to mm -hmm. this even though all my friends are doing it <laughs> whether we're adults or or children you right. know all, everyone might seem to be doing this but mm -hmm. i'm not going to do that right, right. you know but that's, that's a happen. boundary that's right that's but that's going to happen only if your self-esteem is so strong that's right that you can take a stand and say that irrespective of the fact someone else is doing it or my peer group is doing it i am not going to be a part of that so when it comes to self-esteem, if in general terms, if you could let us know how to enhance your self-esteem. Well, I think these qualities, you know, uh, kindness and respect and courtesy and, and um, determination, mm -hmm. you know, whenever we act in ways that um, increase our sense of pride, and mm -hmm. I don't mean pride in a negative way, I mean pride in, in a sense of dignity, in a sense of I feel good about myself. Mm -hmm. That encourages a natural, authentic sense of self-esteem. Mm -hmm. um, you know, given we, we we're living in a time when, unfortunately, there's still a lot of abuse that takes place. Mm -hmm. um, that has a huge impact on one's self-esteem. It kind of warps our sense of self-esteem. And right. so, again, some people will need to take a healing approach to getting back to a sense of um, wellness or well-being within themselves that they can, that can support them to make good decisions. Right. Um, surrounding a, ourselves with positive environment, positive people, good education, and I mean spiritual education as well as Absolutely. you know education that can advance us. Environment but makes a lot of difference in one's life and it can have a great impact provided you have that positivity around you and that yeah. 
can set, uh, help you in setting boundaries. Yeah. Great. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you very much for your Thank time. Thank you, Harpreet. Thank you. So, I just wish it was a good thing that Kelly Monzer has told us that there are a lot of distractions today. There are distractions that we have to set our boundaries. 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 सिखाया जा सकता है कि तुम कोई बाउंडरी सैट करो घर फैमिली रूल्स जोड़े ने उन्होंने अडोप्ट किया जाए आम तौर पर असं अपने भारतीय भाईचारे असी वेखते हैं कि असी बच्चों को कोई काम नहीं करवाना चाहते अं कहने चलो छोड़ो तुम पढ़ाई कर लो तुम अपने नाल ही जुड़े रहो असी अपने आप कर लेंगे पर कैली का कहना है कि उन्होंने जब तक रिस्पोंसिबिलिटीज़ नहीं दी जाएगियाँ वो एहसास नहीं कर सकन कि जीवन का की असल मुख्य मकसद है तो किमें वह बाउंडरीज जी ने सैट कर इसी तरीके बच्चे व्डे होंगे ने उन्होंने वार्तालाप तो बेहतर होना चाहिए है लेकिन कई बार जेकर छोटे होंगे काम नहीं किया गया तो व्डे बच्चों डील करना मुश्किल हो सकता है पर नामुमकिन नहीं है उन्होंने समा सही तरीके स्पेंड किया जाए आप एज रोल मॉडल्स असी आईए तो अपने बारे इन्होंने कहा कि जेकर असी अपने वास्ते बाउंडरीज मॉरली फाइनैशली हैल्थवाइज नहीं करा तो फिर प्रॉब्लम आएगी सो आस करने इस प्रोग्राम जरूर कुछ ना कुछ सीखा होगा फीडबैक लिए छे सौ चार छे सौ तीन पचहत्तर पचवंजा या फिर ईमेल राही संपर्क करो हरप्रीत सिंह शो एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम इन प्रोग्राम्स में तुम यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम स्लैश हरप्रीत सिंह शो भी जाके बाद देख सकते हो ना ही आप सब तो सहयोग की मांग करते हैं कि इस प्रोग्राम को होर बेहतर बनाने लोजे प्रोग्राम्स लिया वास्ते अपना सहयोग सूँ जरूर दो जेकर तुम भी एज अ स्पीकर इतने आना चाहते हो तो कोई नॉलेज है शेयर करना चाहते हो तो साढ़े ना जरूर संपर्क करो तो जेकर कोई बिजनेस करते हो या इस प्रोग्राम को स्पॉन्सर करना चाहते हो तद भी संपर्क करो ताकि असी इस प्रोग्राम को अगे चलाने कामयाब रहीए सा सब का धनवाद फिर मुलाकात करा तब तक गुड बाय